Hello guys, welcome to the Sapphire Nitro 470, Nitro Plus, and this is my sort of haywire setup because my case isn't big enough for the lot of things that I do, but nevertheless, it works, works for me. So we got three fans kind of what it looks like there and uh, it's um, running a performance test right now <clears throat> and uh, we're gonna see the uh, the benchmarks see how it uh, compares to other cards now the one thing about this card is it overclocks very well from what I understand and what, I, what I'm experienced. I'm at 1520, that's, uh, uh, we're looking at 1520 um, megahertz, believe it or not. Now that, you may think that uh, that's not possible, but it is possible. It's definitely possible. So, um, that's what we're doing here. We're uh, trying to see what the score is going to be on the pass mark. And, uh, Looks like we're doing good so far. So yeah, it was an amazing pass mark. We're looking at a four, a ten thousand four hundred and uh, you know seventy-five. It's in a ninetieth percentile. The average is like two thousand. So basically. The world maximum. The world maximum is like thirty-four thousand, and I'm at ten thousand four hundred seventy-five. So the world's best graphics card is only thirty-four thousand, and that's got to be like a, you know, a super ass seven thousand dollar graphics card or something. I mean, this is incredible for a a, a two hundred and eighty dollar Canadian. I was able to get in the 98th percentile of performance. That is an incredible value, you know? That's just incredible. So, this isn't even the 480, this is the 470. And it still beats the 480 because of the, uh, the, uh, uh, the good chip. I mean, this is, an incredible graphics card. I don't know if I just won the silicon lottery or what. I'll just go through my settings here. <clears throat> uh, sometimes uh, the uh, catalyst will uh, So let me restart it. All right. So what I do with this is I go. Let's go. Uh, Twenty. Enter. Then I go. 950 there, 950 there, 950 there, <clears throat> 
So basically, it looks like that. Then you hit apply. Memory is at 1750 stock. And uh, like I showed you earlier, I had put extra fans to cool the whole system down. So But I don't just use that. I also use uh, use sapphire tricks. Hundred percent fan. Let's watch these temps drop. I can get it to hover around twenty three, twenty four on idle <clears throat> it uh, just takes a bit of um, bit of time to cool it down after gaming there we go 24 I think it even goes down to like 23 degrees which is an amazing So obviously I can game on this. If you don't believe I can game on this without it crashing, it is stable. It's 100% stable. This is air, this isn't water cooled. There, 23. This is air. Just fans. three fans and I can get it to 23 degrees and 15, 20, 17, 50. Okay. Minimize that. Let's fire up a game. Let's try uh, Crisis 2. So, we're going to change the thing to full screen. And advanced graphics, let's put it, everything's on ultra. High resolution textures, yes. Motion blur high, ultra, 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 ultra. Everything's maxed out on 470 Nitro Plus. Let's set brightness, make sure it's uh, bright enough. Yeah, that's, that's about right. Maybe like that. And uh, game, subtitles, yes. Enabled. DirectX 11 enabled. Okay, back. And it's on, like I said, 9, 8, it's on 1080p. Let's load it, see what the loading time's like. Keep 
but mine this is on the heaviest setting ultra so I have one hand on the on the camera so this is going to be a bit difficult but uh, I don't know how I can play with just one uh, hand but I'll just give you a little it does not uh, does not crash you know I mean it's like it's buttery smooth performance Looks like at least 60 frames per second here, if not more. And uh, like I said, I left the memory alone because it just decreases in, uh, performance. Any questions you guys may have? I mean, it's not. It's definitely not. You know, crashing or even artifacting or anything like that. It's just. 100% awesome uh, performance and the weird thing is a standard RX 470 only has 7,000 pass mark and mine is running over 10,400 that's that's more than like the original Titan X that's like amazing it's totally amazing. So it's like, you know. I'm gonna play as long as, as I can until I die because I can only play with one hand. It's kind of difficult. But I'm doing this just to show you guys that it is actually stable and it does not crash. It's just a fast ass, you know. Fast ass piece of shit. Extremely silky smooth, very, very fast. On Ultra, on Crisis 2, I mean, Crisis 3. Obviously, I wouldn't be getting uh, this many frames, but uh, we can get close. Even on Crisis 3, on Ultra, all things maxed out. Anyway, I can go on and on and on. RX 470 Natural Plus overclocked. <sighs> so, yeah, it was a little gas there, big deal. Mm. Like I said, it's one hand, so it's kind of difficult to play. I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going. Yeah, because I only have one hand. Just give me a sec. And I couldn't make it. <clears throat> well, anyway. <clears throat> And we're back here again. Screw that. Well, that's good enough for today. Thanks for watching, guys.